Union Pacific calls her the living legend. She's the last new steam locomotive delivered to the railroad, arriving from the American Locomotive Company's Schenectady, New York plant in December 1944. She was the final example in a long line of steam passenger power that began with the completion of the first transcontinental railroad in 1869. At the dawn of the 20th century, 10 wheelers were the top of the line passenger locomotives pulling UP's crack limiteds. These would soon be replaced by high-stepping Pacific types. By the 30s, the 484 Northern types had been developed as a powerful high-speed passenger locomotive. With its long distances and heavy trains, the type was just what Union Pacific needed. The result was the first of the 800s, the 20 FEF-1 class 484s of 1937. They were superb performers, able not only to pull heavy passenger trains at high speed, but also capable of handling freight assignments when called upon. They were followed by 15 engines of the FEF-2 class in 1939 that refined the design and increased the drivers to 80 inches from the 77 of the originals. The final 10 locomotives were the FEF-3 class of 1944, which were slightly heavier than the FEF-2s. Even as the final engines were being delivered, the railroad was already planning to replace its steam power with diesels. The 844 would be the last steam locomotive acquired by the Union Pacific. The last steam locomotive acquired by the UP would become the last to run. After being used for melting snow, the 844 was dusted off and put into service, pulling occasional excursions. The 800 number series was given to a fleet of new GP30 diesels in 1962, and an extra four was added to the steam locomotive's number. She would spend a quarter century as number 8444. In 1987, the 8444 emerged from the Cheyenne Steam Shop, sporting the Greyhound paint scheme that adorned some of the UP's premier passenger power from 1946 to 1952. She spent several years in two-tone gray. On September 21, 1989, the locomotive is sporting the Greyhound paint as she makes a stop at Lexington, Nebraska. As the 80s came to a close, the GP30 fleet was retired. Having outlived the diesel that attempted to steal her identity, the big northern type shed her extra four and was once again number 844. Newly renumbered and still in the classic two-tone gray, the 844 puts on a show at the 1990 NRHS convention with a round trip from St. Louis to Finley, Illinois. It's October 24th, 1996, and the 844 is back in black as she approaches Chester, Illinois. It's July 27, 2005, and we're in the STEAM program's hometown of Cheyenne, Wyoming. The 844 is hot and ready for a run across the main line to North Platte, Nebraska, as she backs by the steam shop and the remaining stalls of the Steam Era Roundhouse.
Date 44 is leading the Great Excursion Adventure on May 31st, 2011. The 844 charges down the Mississippi Valley on the Chester subdivision.